Thank you, Omar. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a beautiful morning. Um, <clears throat> first, thank all of you. I want to thank you all who've made it here this morning. Some of you from very close, maybe crossed the Nile or drove in to the center from somewhere abroad. And, but there's also people from the UK here. I know Europe, Boston. I think the winner of the Greatest Mileage to Get Here Award is from Santiago, Chile. Maybe there's someone from further abroad, but ah, excellent. So this is, uh, it's great to have you all here and it's gonna be a wonderful few days. Um, I, th I wanna thank Omar and Beth. I mean, this has been a very, just personally, a great uh, experience and relationship for me. Uh, I think we're all interested, whatever our discipline or specialization or the kind of work that we do, we're all in one way or another interested in what they're doing. And I guess for me, I'm a philosophy professor, so I didn't have, I mean, I wouldn't think I'd have much interest in issues in urbanism. And yet, the work they're doing is ultimately, among other things, deeply philosophical, and I have found it very fruitful for me. Um, and I guess one of the things I find interesting about this, in addition to thinking about AUC and our campuses and our locations and the way that we play different roles in this very complicated and changing city is for me as an academic. When I think about what we're doing in this conference, I think it's a remarkable achievement because um, if you think of what's going on, we're looking at, let's see, a few days of architecture, the arts, artists, security issues, public policy, urbanism, population migration, ba da da da. Similarly, as an academic, the disciplines involved, which is something that rarely happens in, in my life, we're talking about sociology, archaeology, history, the arts, economics, anthropology, public policy, philosophy, literature, political science, da 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 da. It's an incredible achievement, I think, to get everyone together in a space where so many different interests, non-academic and academic, and disciplines that all too often in my business, in my world, are kept separate. You know, hyper-specialization is the way that you get your tenure, right? Write on something that 30 people will read in the world. This challenges that complete model, and I think it's fantastic that all these disciplines are brought together, and then brought together in a way that's relevant to who we are and where we're going, both as an institution, but as a bunch of communities trying to figure out what's happening, where we are, and Again, globally, which I think that connection, it's very immediate. We're right in the middle of downtown Antares Square, but what we're talking about has relevance in Santiago, Chile. So I, I think it's, I want to thank you. I think that's a remarkable achievement. Um, I also just want to thank you all for the work that you are doing. When I, I've lived in Cairo now for 10 years. Um, I had the pleasure my first few years here, I'd take the metro in from Mahdi, and I taught in the new Falaki building, and I'd wander around. And I saw the changes. I experienced the difficult and sometimes very painful move to the new Cairo campus, which in the last eight years has transformed radically, as has the neighborhood and the community around it. And so I think, you know, obviously, I think you all appreciate the import of the kind of thinking and the different kinds of work you do for Cairo and the region. But when I'm not in Cairo, I live in another city which is struggling which is thriving, struggling, uh, conflicted, at odds with itself in certain ways, incredibly creative. And I, I think for me, I just want to sort of thank you all in a broad sense and, and urge you to continue to do this. Baltimore, Maryland is where I'm at home if I'm not in Cairo. And trust me, as you know, probably from watching the news in the last year or so, Baltimore is another place that we need to be thinking about communities, Santiago and Baltimore and Cairo and Beirut. And so I encourage you to continue to do so. And I thank you very much. And uh, I wish you a fantastic few days. Have fun. Thank you.